What's up guys? It is time for the inaugural no checklist startup tutorial for the DCS World F14 by Heatblur Simulations. As with every new module, I'm going to show you what I believe is the quickest way to start it up and get you going once you get your hands on it. If you're looking for a more detailed checklist or by the book approach, this video is not going to be the one for you. I suggest doing the Jester assisted startup as he will assist you in doing a full checklist startup. Let's begin. First, we're going to turn on our oxygen. Next, we're going to turn on the ground power. To do this, you press backslash, F8, F2, and F1. Chief, turn on the ground power. Copy. Ground power is now on. Once the ground power is applied, we need to connect the air supply by pressing backslash, F8, F5, and F1. Chief, connect ground air supply. Copy. Ground air supply is now connected. Once both ground power and air are on and connected, we can dial Jester to start up. To do this, press the Jester toggle menu button to bring up the Jester menu and select startup. Got it. Next, Jester will do a quick comms check. ICS comms check. Can you hear me? To acknowledge, bring up the gesture menu and select loud and clear. Okay. Next, we want to arm our ejection seat. And now we can close the canopy by pressing left control C or let gesture do it for us. I'm closing the canopy. All right, let's start. To start our engines, set engine crank right. Now we wait till our engine RPM comes up to just about the second line and we left click our right throttle to bring it into the idle detent. Once our right engine is started, we can disconnect the ground power by pressing backspace, F8, F2, and F2. Chief, turn off the ground power. Now we can start our left engine. Set engine crank to left. And again, wait for our RPM to come up to about the second line. And left click our left throttle to bring it into the idle detent. Now, once our engines are nearly started, you should hear Jester fiddling around with God knows what. So while he does that, we will turn on our SAS with these three switches. Now come to the right side and turn on our ARA63, which is our RWR. And then you want to turn on your VDI, our HUD, and our HSD. At this point, you can check to see if Jester is ready to align. If not, you will see an empty menu like this.
let's try to get them to align again. There we go. Okay, so we have four options. Moving left to right, we have INS Go Now, which is the fastest alignment you can do, but the least amount of accuracy. INS Go Course, which is slightly more accurate, but not enough for weapons deployment. INS Go Min Weapon Launch, as it states, enough for weapons launch. And INS Go Fine, which is the most precise, but also takes the longest. Since we aren't going to deploy weapons in this tutorial, Let's select course for now. Roger. Next, we want to zero out our trim. Then erect our standby ADI. Uncage our rat alt. Now we need to move our emergency wing sweep all the way forward to get our wings out of the override position used when stowing the plane. Once the lever is full forward, right click it to push it in. Then go ahead and close the cover. Now you can see on the enunciator panel that the wing sweep and ladder lights are still illuminated. To turn off wing sweep, we need to press the master reset button in front of the emergency wing sweep lever. And for the ladder light, we need to disconnect ground air supply by pressing backslash, F8, F5, and F2. Chief, disconnect ground air supply. Then just confirm that the light goes out. Now we have to wait for Jester. So take this time to flip any lights on or off. Flip the air buttons on and off to pass the time. If you want, you can turn on your radios, your TACAN. You can even uh, yell at Jester to hurry up. Come on, bro. Goose was better. Ready to taxi. Ah, finally. Okay, two more things. To the left of the HUD, we can see the light that says brakes. This just means our parking brake is on. So we need to release that. And last, we need to engage our nose wheel steering, which is the pinky switch on the stick if you have it bound. Now we're ready to fly. You hear that little beeping right there? I wouldn't worry about that. It's probably nothing. Okay, so takeoff is pretty easy. The Tomcat really wants to fly. So first, get lined up and turn off your nose wheel steering. Make sure you have your wing sweep configuration set to auto and that your wing sweep is at 20 degrees. Next, bring out your flaps and we are ready to go. You can take off at mill or full power. The choice is yours. I'm going to use mill power for this takeoff.
Okay, at about 135 knots, slowly pull back on the stick. And depending on your payload, you should get off the ground somewhere around or above 140 knots. Once you see a positive vertical rate, go ahead and bring your gear and flaps up. And that is it. Now, I feel the need. So I am going to go full power and do an unrestricted climb to Angels 24. And there you have it. I hope this helps you get going with the Tomcat. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time.